According to iSource News on Twitter, the reason for Meghan clearing her calendar post-funeral is for Oprah's interview. The post quoted, Meghan cancelled all appearances and interview post-funeral in order to give Oprah the exclusive. The two are advanced stages of planning a blockbuster interview after the Queen's funeral. An inside source close to Harpo Productions claims that Meghan will trash Charles in a new interview with Oprah. This is going to be explosive. Meghan's still seething at the way she was treated by Charles. It's been reported Meghan Markle has cancelled a TV appearance and put back the date of her next podcast episode. She has shelved plans to appear on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and a scheduled visit to the UN General Assembly with Prince Harry following the Queen's death, while the release date of the next episode of her hugely popular podcast Archetypes has been delayed. Her appearance on NBC's The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, planned for Tuesday, September the 20th, would have come just weeks after her bombshell interview with The Cut, in which she said she was happy to have quit Britain. As per the last announcement, Markle will also be skipping Variety's event in Los Angeles on September the 28th. The magazine announced Thursday that Markle's cover will not be available until further notice, while she and the royal family mourn the loss of Her Majesty. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, was chosen as one of this year's stellar honorees, Variety wrote via Twitter Wednesday. It comes after Meghan Markle is reportedly taking a more careful move when it comes to her podcast archetypes. Prince Harry's wife paused her podcast and is also making sure that the content will not offend the members of the firm. It's her podcast, and I would guess that she's allowed to say exactly what she wants. But now there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes for the remaining podcasts, Royal commentator Neil Sean said. We know there's been four in the can already that are ready to go. Sean added, but according to a very good source, they're going through them all with a very fine tooth comb to make sure there's nothing derogatory, hurtful, or indeed that could cause yet another explosive time bomb. You could look at this two ways, really. Is Meghan changing her tune to now try and refit back into the family that she left behind? Or indeed, is she having second thoughts because she doesn't want to create any more trouble, he continued. Also, royal expert Angela Levin wasn't impressed by Markle's podcast. It's very interesting that, before she did it, Meghan said that she wanted to speak without anybody filtering out what she said. She wanted people to get to know the real me, Levin said, quoting Markle. I think she's put herself right down the drain, actually. I think people all around the world, not just in the UK, have felt that her behaviour is not appropriate at any level. Levin also called out Markle for several lies. She didn't believe Prince Harry's wife when she said that she would not have been able to take her children to school in England without 40 photographers taking pictures of them daily. There's a law in this country that you can't do that. You can go and take photos of a small royal child on the first day of term and that's it. You leave them alone and it's obeyed, Levin said, of how the press treats royal children.